The year was 1916. Woodrow Wilson had been elected president four years before on a platform of high moral principles. According to him, no longer would America push other nations around or dabble in their internal affairs, or so went Wilson's plan. But all that began to change when he crossed paths with a legendary Mexican renegade by the name of Pancho Villa. A wild and woolly outlaw, Villa, since 1911, had pitted a ragtag army of men against the forces of a Mexican faction favored by the USA. And there the trouble lay. In this historic film, shot from the American side, Villa's troops prepare to do battle along the border. Angered by the U.S. government's official recognition of his rival, Villa staged a series of bloody skirmishes, which cost American lives. Through the spring of 1916, havoc spread along the border as Villa's revolutionaries shot up to frontier towns. The checkpoint at Douglas, Arizona, as a steady stream of refugees fled the tide of terror, throwing themselves upon American hospitality. Lines of trenches carried the human flood to the U.S. side, and newsreel scenes like these, shown to American audiences, helped to fan the flames of indignation. In the refugee camps, extravagant tales were told of a man of ruthless cunning, part Robin Hood, part devil, a menace to America and the billions in private property held by Americans below the border. It was a problem that the U.S. Army knew how to handle. March 9th, 1916, when Villa's men struck Columbus, New Mexico, taking 17 lives, Wilson reluctantly was forced to respond. For 11 months, the American army chased Guia through northern Mexico, but the wily revolutionary was always a step ahead, and all that was accomplished was to deepen bitter feelings on both sides of the border. 